Hi everyone, my name is Olivia and today I'm here to share my testimony about Setsi, the ministry. Well, first of all, um, I'm a mum of three, been married for nine years, going on ten years. I thank God for my life because I can truly say that my life is a life that 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 was spared my home is a home that was spared my marriage was a marriage that was spared and um, I thank God for a ministry like this that has really come to my rescue and um, it all began uh, back in the year 2014 when I met Pastor Beam at a bridal shower and like uh, uh, um, uh, we got talking and you know just sharing experiences at the bridal shower like she said that she saw something that really you know that really caught her attention in me you know and um, since then we got talking off and on and one day she came up to me and said that God had spoken to her about me that she has to nurture me and um, she has to look after me and stuff like that and then um, one day she visited me at home and uh, she told me Olivia you need to be praying you need to you know obey your husband respect him love him honor him and i really took on board everything she told me about the prayer especially because as a you know as a young christian growing up you know i used to think yeah maybe it's just about going to church but by me just meeting her and being a part of that ministry sexy for women you know i grew so much um as a believer i became so mature and i can never forget um when uh, when she encouraged me to pray that one day on our way to church my husband was in the car I mean we were all in the car sorry praying and my husband was praying and he said that God the way my wife has grown spiritually I pray the same for myself and it's like it just made me realize that you know he had truly seen a change in me and everything and then on the other hand I remember as well I was trying for my second baby and it was not forthcoming as quickly as i wanted to and pastor Vim called me up again and said olivia god has an assignment for you that you need to gather some women so we can have meetings in your area and i said okay let god's will be done and i remember saying to her that look here i'm really trying for a second child and it's not coming forth so she said, Olivia, just leave it in the hands of God. God will take care of everything. And I said, okay, God, all right, I leave it to you. You know, I don't want to take matters into my own hands anymore. And, you know, because of my obedience, um, we had the meeting, say, for instance, we had the meeting in June, the very first meeting in June in my home and the following month i found out i was pregnant so um, what i want to say truly that when you take care of god's work you know god takes care of what matters to you so i can say that it's truly through my obedience to god's will god um granted me the desires of my heart and yeah, I just want to say that um, this ministry has really helped me um, through, through um, my marriage, um, so many different um, areas of my life. This ministry has really, really, really helped me. It's like 
sometimes when I think about it, if I hadn't been part of a ministry like this, I don't know how I'd survive. I don't know how I would be able to live because the kind of person I was, to be honest, I don't know, but I just thank God. I just thank God for this ministry that has really, really, really helped me. And um, I thank God for Pastor Beam as well for answering the call of God upon her life concerning that ministry. You know, so I give all glory to God and all honor to Him for her obedience and for my obedience as well. Because today I'm a true living testimony of what God is doing in this ministry, Set C for Women. And um, I, I want to take this time out as well to encourage every woman, mother, young girl, wife, whoever you are, you know, if you're feeling low, however you're feeling, you know, there's still hope out there for you, you know. God is still able and he's um, able to answer all your prayers and meet you at the point of your need. So don't ever feel that it's the end of the road for you. So that's my testimony. Thank you for watching.